You might be wondering, we gave access for the Singapore Airlines, but what if the user is from USA who wants access to the American Airlines? So what is the strategy then? So we did not worry because SAP security team will create another role and then assign the users from, from that continent or from that country that particular role. So let us see how the security people do. So we'll go to PFCG. This time we'll be a little quick. And here instead of SP, I will say create USA, US, all right? And a single role. I will say um, air, can I, okay, airline role for American Airlines, okay, MA for USA. And then I go to authorization. You must save, okay, I have to save. I go to change authorization data, okay, I can just hit, okay. And then I'll say do not select templates and then I have to manually add the auth object and the auth objects will be created the same auth object yes the same auth objects and click OK and then I come here and then I have to give the access there is only one access that is display access and then what is the airline code which you want to show for this particular role I want to show American Airlines oh it's always good to look for the F4 help so I know I want to show them American Airlines and then click OK and click save and see all green. Now we need to generate. So if I generate this, another profile gets created. I click OK. Now I save it. I go back. Profile not generated. OK, because uh, I hit save after generate. So I'll do one more time generate. So after generation, no need to hit save. So I go back and if you see that profile for this US has been generated. This is a different profile than the SCARE ID under Singapore. Okay. And now I want to give some user the access. So which user we want to give access? Uh, I will choose a user from my system. So I will try to give access to SAP Yard 001. So this user will have access to only American Airlines. I hit, I need to hit user comparison. You must save, okay, I want to save. And compa complete comparison, everything successful. Close it. And then I hit save one more time. I go back. I'll just go in one more time to check if everything is green. All right, the authorization is green and the user is also green. So now, if I log in as this user and run the same CDS view, then I should be able to see American Airline data. Let's look into the system. I'll go to ADT and try to log in as a new user. So I'll say about project, next. So I'll choose my server, next. And then I need to give the new user because I want to use use as a user this or oh, I, I need to I forgot what user did we give the role let me double check okay it was SAP R001 so I will log in as SAP R001 and I'll give my password and finish Okay, uh, my SAP R001 was not working, so therefore I have I'm trying to use another uh, ID. There's SAP R20 or 020, and the password. Let me give the password 789, and then hit finish. All right, so I have logged in as SAP R20, but I have given access to SAP R01. So let me go to the role and give access to SAP R20 as well so that we can test it all right so I go to PFCG and I go to the US role and I want to give access to SAP R20 so I go to users and I'll add one more user 020 and I will do the user comparison yes Complete comparison. All right, done. 
save come back i'll save check one more time just to see the authorization and users are green okay both are green i'm good so now i go to the user 20 and then i will try to open the cds view which we created earlier so i'll go and add the package gsy sy it should be in the sixth day i come here i go to cds view i know my cds this is the cds view and if i run it what am i expecting my user id sapr020 has access to american airlines that is aa that's what we gave in the role right so if you do not remember if i go to car id usa and if i go to the authorization if i go to the change object authorization over here and if i check this you see airline code is aa so i should be able to see all the american airline flights so if i hit f8 then see only the american airlines data is visible to this user and what what did the other user see so this user if if demo 02 was to run this same cds view then he will see only singapore airlines so if i hit f8 then this guy would see singapore airlines because he has authorization to roll underscore singapore whereas this guy this is sapr 020 he has authorization roles to uh, pfcg role underscore usa but both of them are using the same access control because the access control has the same auth object this auth object remains same in both the pfcg roles this auth object this one changes this is the countries in one we gave singapore in another we gave usa and this remains the same so in short all your roles are controlled by your authorization objects so you had two different roles but still we did not need to make any change in the access control because both the roles are assigned or both the roles have this auth object which we created in one of the previous exercises now let us make this more practical so what we want to do is we want to give this user who is demo 02 authorization to view system uh, airline accesses or airlines which travels to singapore as well as which travels to usa okay with american airline code and with singapore code so what we have to do he already has access to singapore now he needs to get access to the american airlines ones so what what we need to do we need to go to the pfcg role and then assign that user in this usa role so that guy already had singapore he needs usa so i go to demo 2 and then i hit comparison i hit yes i hit complete comparison and we are done so i hit save account was saved so now what we did this user has access to both g ID us and also g ID singapore so this user demo 2 so he, he is here in s id us and also if you go and check singapore so he that user is assigned this role as well so if i go here i go to user so you will see demo 2 so if we test now if we go and test this function uh, go and test this cds view so what is your expectation so if i go and execute it as demo to user now i should be able to view both singapore airlines as well as american airlines so did you see the beauty you are able to um, control the display of data based on the pfcg rules which in turn uses the authorization object this and that authorization object is used in this access control so that is the beauty and this is very simple although it looks very complex but by now i think you are clear how the authorization objects and the field and the activity plays an important role in uh, the 
control or the display control or the access control of your CDS view.